All right, today we're gonna to break you through that plateau because when it comes to consistently building muscle or dropping body fat, it really comes down to four things and they work in conjunction. You get them right, you're golden. You mess up even one, you're screwing yourself. And as fun as that sounds, it's overrated. Let's get after it. So when I sit down with somebody who's trying to get that Instagram worthy body and just get all the double taps and they just don't feel like they're getting the results they deserve, first thing I try to extract is how consistent they actually are because you can have a phenomenal diet and an incredible training program, but if you're at home dry humping the couch taking a bag of Doritos to the face, don't expect to change. It may sound simple, but if you wanna continually make progress, you gotta be consistent on your diet, training, and everything in between. The inability to follow a consistent diet and training program usually stems from two things. For the beginner, inconsistency comes from uncertainty. If you knew for a fact by following your plan, it'd just be a matter of time before you achieve the exact look you wanted, you would always hit the gym when you're supposed to, you'd never miss a meal, but that's not the way things work. The reality is you have to let your frustration go and disconnect because this is a game of trial and error. Once you find what works for you, you can make minor adjustments to really squeeze out every last little bit of results. My advice is pretend like you're making a plan for somebody else and notice how easy it is to give them sound advice. Stop making excuses, train hard, stop eating like an asshole. And once you have a clear plan for them, take your own fucking advice. It'll work. For the person who's seen results in the past, somewhere along the way, your priorities got messed up and you said it was more important to do dirty things to a bag of chips than it was to consistently see results. And it's funny how that always seems to coincide with someone being in a happy, loving relationship. So do me a favor tonight when you're sitting next to your husband or wife, I want you to turn to him and say, honey, I love you, but you fucked me. And give them no explanation whatsoever. It's understandable because as complex and amazing as humans are, we're pretty basic in our behaviors. You found your sex partner, so there's no need to peacock anymore. Basically, you just tuck it between your legs until she lets you use it again. And what I would say to that is how quickly you forget how good you used to feel and how worth it is to make yourself a priority. Because remember, you didn't always have to roll your husky ass out of bed. You used to be able to just sit up. I promise if you start putting yourself first, even your relationship will get better because of it. The next thing I try to pull from people is, how's their diet? Because for me, that's what it's all about. Your diet is the captain of your chubby ass ship. And if you wanna consistently get results, Locking down that diet is the key. Now, before you say, I don't know what to eat or where to start, you remember that shitty volcano you made for a fifth grade science project? That's you. Your goal is to become the volcano that Timmy's dad made, who just so happens to make miniature fucking volcanoes for a living. This is an experimental process. You need to build out a plan you think is gonna work and do it consistently. After three to four days, check in on your progress and adjust. Now, the key though is, Make sure you build a plan you can actually stick to. And the reason I don't say, hey, try X diet, you're gonna get results, is because everybody's so different. With training, I've never had somebody not grow from doing high reps, high volume, and just destroying themselves. But with diet, there are certain diets that people will just not respond to because there's so many other things to consider. You're dealing with trying to maintain somebody's blood sugar levels, you got their hormones response to the actual diet, and you actually have to give them a diet, they're gonna not screw up. If you want me to go over what I'm currently doing, I'll do it in another video because it's a bit out there. The next thing I wanna understand is how hard somebody's actually pushing themselves in the gym. And we touched upon this a little bit in the last video, which I'll link at the top and at the end of this video, because there's a huge difference between just walking in the gym to check the box and going in there and intentionally trying to hurt yourself in a good way. A clear way to state this is when's the last time your training affected your day-to-day -day life? And I'm not just talking about legs either. Although one time after I trained legs, I was in the grocery store walking and they just both gave out. And I'm not just talking about you can take a knee and pretend like you're tying your shoes. I'm talking about both of them at the same time, went straight back, fell on the ground, hit my head. A lady runs up, sir, are you okay? Do you need help? Very proudly, I did this to myself. I'm talking about for every single muscle group. So if your friend asks you to go play darts and you happen to train triceps that day, you say, I'm gonna pass because I don't wanna put everybody else's life in danger. And I've heard a lot of people use the saying, train harder than last time. And I think that's good, but we can add some scarcity to it. And just say train like it's your fucking last time. The last thing I try to uncover, and sometimes the most important, is how much they're bullshitting themselves. And this is an easy one to figure out. Just ask some qualifying questions. Like, what was your diet yesterday? And what do you think your body fat percentage is? And inevitably with men, it's always like, you know, I've been kind of getting off track the last couple of weeks. I'm probably about 10 to 11%. Unless right before we sat down, you went to Costco and stole every single one of their fucking muffins. I hate to break it to you. You're not 10%. The good news is though, it's easy to call it your own bullshit because you can't argue with facts where you screw yourself is not knowing exactly where you are. Now I know if you avoid these four things, you'll be able to consistently get results and stop assaulting your couch. Here's a link to that leg video I talked about as well as another one of my favorites. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, let me know what video you want next and get after you get growing. Talk to you soon.